Family members are remembering 31-year-old Brittany Robbins. She died last week in a crash involving a big rig on Avenue 12 in Madera County. Robbins' family told Action News in a statement she loved dogs and was so full of life. Her death is now shedding light on what some people have declared a dangerous road. Just two years ago, another woman got into an accident near the same spot, and she now wants to see a change in this area. Something has to change so that we can have people living and not terrified to drive on their own streets around their own neighborhoods. Thanks for joining us tonight for Action News. I'm Warren Armstrong. And good evening, I'm Margo Kim. We're live on ABC 30, Hulu Live, and wherever you stream. Action News reporter Brianna Willis is live near Avenue 12 and Highway 41 in Madera County with how residents are hoping for temporary changes to improve safety on the road. Brianna? Well, Margo Warren, yeah, residents I spoke with today told me sometimes this area feels like a death trap. They say when the traffic does back up in this area, sometimes drivers make dangerous decisions, but they also want to see the county take action to prevent more tragedies. Dangerous and deadly. That's how people who live near Avenue 12 describe the road. Wondering what we're going to wake up to, if there's going to be another accident, whether our loved ones make it home. Last Friday, Brittany Robbins did not make it home. She died early Friday morning on Avenue 12 in a crash with a big rig. That accident all too familiar for Christina McWethy. Somebody just crossed a double sawed line, came and hit me head on, and I got trapped in the car, had to be taken out with the jaws of life. Two years ago on the same road, McWethy's life changed forever. Her wheelchair, now a constant reminder of that day. I'm permanently damaged. I mean, I'm fighting to get my life back. I'm fighting to be able to walk again. Now she wants to see the county make changes. How many lives have to be lost? We asked Madera County Supervisor Jordan Wamhoff if there are plans to increase safety. We have plans to expand Avenue 12, and those have been in the works for a few years, and that is actually going to start construction in about the second quarter of next year. Skyview 30 video shows two lanes on some stretches of the road. Wamhoff says the plans are to expand two lanes to four. We've also been working on shorter term plans uh, to re-slurry and seal Avenue 12 uh, in front of the development to add turn pockets and temporary signals as well. McWethy believes the change is long overdue. Why didn't something happen before my accident, after my accident? All the people in between my accident and now could still be living. And I also want to mention while working on this story today, I received several phone calls, text messages and emails all from residents wanting to sound the alarm about this road. Another message I just received is from one person who now is organizing a candlelight vigil. That's happening Sunday at 7 p.m. here on Avenue 12 in Riverwalk. Their goal is to support, is to support all the families that have lost loved ones on this road. Live in Madera County, Brianna Willis, ABC 30 Action News. Hey, Central California, stay up to date with all the latest news and weather. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to ABC 30 Action News.